everybody! Welcome to the Jaden Stitches Show. I have an unboxing for you today. I love tools. Any tool that marries my love of yarn and crafts together usually ends up in my collection of cool tools. <laughs> and the other thing I adore are pom-poms. They're adorable and they're like the, the coolest little accents for a billion different projects. So I have been looking especially for a pom-pom maker for quite a while. And every time I go into a craft store, I've dragged my poor husband all over southern Ontario into every different craft store I could find looking for pom-pom makers, and I never seem to be able to find any. And I know you can make them on your hands, and I know you can make them using sort of the cardboard cutout thing, and that's what I've been doing, but I really wanted a dedicated tool for pom-pom making. So I finally went online, I checked out Amazon, and lo and behold, I didn't just find one, I found a set of four! <laughs> Anyway, they finally got here. They're from a company called Japan Import, and I do not even pretend to know what kind of writing is on the packaging. It looks really cool to me. I know they're made in Vietnam, and they're from Japan Import, so I assume it's either Vietnamese or Japanese that's on it, but I don't know. Anyway, I think the packaging's really awesome, and it doesn't really matter because there are some really great pictures on the back explaining how to use this product. I thought I'd get into them today and just show you a little bit about how they look and how they operate, and I'm going to do a pom-pom making video in an upcoming episode, so I'm not going to show you how to use them today, I'm just going to show you sort of how they look when they're all taken apart. So, I'm just going to get into this. So there's four different sizes, and I love that they're different colors too. That's one of my favorite things about a tool. So if a tool's useful, great, but if it's cute too, then it's like five stars. So I've got four different sizes. I've got a super large one, which is blue. Mm -hmm. I've got a large one, which is this pretty chartreuse color. I love that, light, light green. I've got a medium-sized one, which is this lovely butter yellow. And I've got a baby one, which is pink. Mm -hmm. So, this is how they come apart. You've got four different quadrants to a standard pom-pom, and the pom-pom makers come apart in four different quadrants. That looks like a ninja star. <laughs> Crafter by day, ninja by night. And they're flexible, they're being plastic, so you've got a lot more kind of um, give with them as opposed to trying to use the cardboard or trying to use your hands. So that's why I was excited to get a set of these tools. Uh, but I really like the way they feel. I like the way they look. I love the packaging. I'm going to keep the packaging, not just because there's pictures of how to use it on here, but because there's pretty little pictures of, of little <laughs> pom-pom animals. And I just, I kind of think it's really cool to have some kind of packaging that has a super foreign language on it. I don't know what it says, but it looks super cute. So <laughs> I'm going to keep it in my project journal just so I have a reference. And also I know um, the company that it made it. So this is Clover. I don't know if it's the same Clover that makes a lot of the other crochet and knitting tools that we can get in this country. Um, it might be, but I don't really know. So if any of you do know, let me know in the comments box down below. And furthermore, if any of you have got a cool crafting tool that you have found or you discovered or somebody gave to you and you've been using and you just think it's like the, the bee's knees, then let me know in the comment box down below because I love to collect craft tools. <laughs> and that is my new set of pom-pom makers. I am so excited, you have no idea. I am going to be spending the whole weekend with my yarn and my new tools. And the next time you see me, I will be bedecked in pom-poms. <laughs> Or not. I don't know. Anyway, until I see you guys next time, which will probably be Friday for a tutorial, stay safe, stay fun, and stay crafty. If you have cool tools, let me know, because I would love to know what you guys have. We'll see you again really soon, everybody. Thanks for popping in. Bye. <laughs>